Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friend. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. Well, we have such a treat today because our Savior is going to give us a little commentary on our passage today. That is verses 6 and 7 in Psalm 82. So if you have your Bible, why don't you open it up there at Psalm 82 and sit down here with me. Let's get to, let's get to a little five-minute Bible study. Because you remember that Daily Dose Radio is five minutes a day, five days a week, studying the Psalms verse by verse. So today... Like I said, it's a treat. The Savior comments on this passage. And so I want to uh, read the passage. And then we're going to go to John chapter 10, where we have Jesus quoting from uh, Asaph here in Psalm 82. So let me read for you today, verses 6 and 7. I have said, you are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. But ye shall die like men, and fall like one of the princes. Okay. So again, we see the first person here. So we know that the Lord's been talking since verse 2. How long are you going to judge unjustly, defend, deliver? They know not. You know, so he's been telling us, you know, here's how to judge. Here's why we judge. And now we have this grand contradiction of the fall. That's what I like to call this. Between verses 6 and 7, we have this contrast of Men being the image bearers of God, you're all gods, you're all children of the Most High. Don't emphasize gods, emphasize children. We are his image bearers. But, notice that but there in verse 7. But, and this is not the good kind of but, this is the bad kind of but, but you're all, you'll, you'll all die like men. Even though you're image bearers, you shouldn't die. But because your image, because of the fall, you're going to die. You'll die like men and fall like one of the princes. So this is the great contradiction of the fall. And here in this passage, Jesus pulls a nugget out in John chapter 10. And let me go back over there and let's just read that because this is so fun. In John chapter 10, Jesus is talking to the, um, the elders. And he says there in verse 29 of John chapter 10, My Father which gave them me is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. I and my Father are one. Then the Jews took up stones again to stone him. Jesus answered them, Many good works have I showed you for my Father, for which of those works do you stone me? The Jews answered him, saying, For a good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy, because that thou, being a man, makest thyself God. So you see, they understood, verse 30, I and my Father are one. They understood who the Father was. They understood who Jesus was. And when Jesus said, I and my Father are one, they come back to him and say, You being a man, make us yourself God. Here we have the two natures in one. Truly and fully God and truly and fully man. And they were furious that he would even suggest that he was God. And then in verse 34, Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said, you're gods? Well, there we are right here. Verse 6 of Psalm 82. If he called them gods unto whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken, well, there's a teaching, there's a doctrine for you, say ye of him whom the Father hath sanctified and sent into the world, you blaspheme, because I said, I am the Son of God? Oh, wait a minute. So Jesus now declares to them that he is the Son of God. He confirms that's what he was saying. And then in verse 37, If I do not the works of my Father, believe me not. But if I do, though you believe not in me, believe the works, that you may know and believe that the Father is in me and I in him. So now he doubles down on this statement. I and my Father are one. The Father is in me and I in him. Verse 39, John gives us a little commentary here. They sought again to take him, but he escaped out of their hand. So they're furious that Jesus would make this connection, that he is God, that he's also a man. 
They couldn't wrap their head around that, and for them it was blasphemous. So Jesus quotes here from Psalm 82, I have said, you are gods. And he goes on to say, if he called them gods unto whom the word of God came and the scripture cannot be broken, the scripture cannot be broken. So children of the Most High here is telling us that, yes, we're different than the rest of the created order. We are his image bearers. We're his children in a sense. Well, I mean, in the fullest sense, we're his children and his image bearers. But you shall die like men. Why? Because the fall happened. Adam ate of the tree. And when he did that, all his posterity was lost and in corruption ever since. We have the great contradiction of the fall. And in the words of Christ, he uses this passage to affirm his own divinity. Isn't that wonderful? Boy, there is just so much right here. This is a rich passage of Scripture. All right, well, join me again tomorrow, and we'll look at verse 8 here on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out The Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.